to the growing firestorm over Indiana's new religious freedom law. With the Final Four headed to Indianapolis next weekend, critics are calling for a boycott because they say the new law opens the door to discrimination against gays and lesbians. But the governor told me the law will not change, and ABC's Gio Benitez is covering the story from Indianapolis. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. We're at the state capitol. This is where protesters have been sounding off. But the controversy isn't just here. In fact, it seems as if everyone is talking about this issue all across this country. Overnight, Apple CEO Tim Cook calling the law dangerous, writing these bills rationalize injustice by pretending to defend something many of us hold dear. Outrage over Indiana's Religious Freedom Restoration Act is growing. Critics say it will allow businesses to turn away gay and lesbian customers in the name of religious freedom. George, look, I, I, we're not going to change the law. George asked the governor Sunday on ABC's This Week about his stance. Do you think it should be legal in the state of Indiana to discriminate against gays or lesbians? George. It's a yes or no question. Your, look, come on. Hoosiers don't believe in discrimination. This then, is about protecting liberty of every Hoosier of every faith. Yes or no, should it be legal to discriminate against gays and lesbians? George, you're, you're following the mantra of the last week online, and you're trying to make this issue about something else. The firestorm expected to grow as thousands of March Madness fans travel to Indianapolis this week for the NCAA's prestigious Final Four, bringing millions of dollars to the local economy. Many calling on the organization to move the Final Four. The NCAA, whose offices are in Indiana, issued a statement saying they are concerned about the legislation. Moving forward, we intend to closely examine the implications of this bill and how it might affect future events as well as our workforce. An internet giant Angie's List canceling a $40 million expansion project in Indiana. Still, some business owners here, like leather worker Casey Sampson, say the law protects their religious beliefs. One example would be uh, if someone came in here and wanted a belt that said Satan is great. That is not something that we believe in. But that store owner tells me he will not discriminate against gays and lesbians. Meanwhile, legislators today plan to discuss possible clarifications to that law later this morning, George. That's right, Gio. Thanks. You know, the, the governor said the law isn't going to change, but he is open to signing a different law if the General Assembly passes it that would clarify what the intent of this religious liberty law is. One thing that is clear, supporters on both sides are not backing not down right from now. this issue.